Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Fury is at it again with his PR campaign saying he has to have the Joshua fight for his legacy. <sighs> I don't know what to make of it because I think every man and his dog knows that those two need to fight. This is a generational fight. We haven't had two superstar heavyweights from this country going at it for all of the world titles ever. And well, we've been here before, haven't we? We know that Fury and Joshua have been uh, calling each other out. We know there's been false promises. We know all the promoters have been saying all the right things. And the fight hasn't happened. So do we believe what he says? Or is it more gassing? Is it more putting pressure on the other side? <sighs> Who knows? All I know is we had an interview with Fury a couple of weeks ago where he said he doesn't need Joshua, he doesn't need Joe Joyce, they're not from his generation, his legacy is not tarnished, he's going to go and take care of business against uh, Derek Chisora, he's going to go and take care of business against Alexander Usyk. And that's it, that's all he needs, that's his legacy done, everyone he needs to beat, everyone in his generation, done and dusted, Gypsy King, undefeated. Good night. Now, he says, for their, for their respective generations, Joshua and Fury need each other. This fight has to happen. Well, no shit. We know this fight needs to happen. We've been saying that the likes of Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, that they've been needing to put their differences uh, to one side for the good of the sport. You know, this weekend just gone, we've just seen UFC 281, where the best fighters are made to fight. And this does not happen in boxing. Too often we are being deprived of the best fights. It didn't happen with Mayweather and Pacquiao. They fought far too late. It didn't happen in this country when we had Ricky Hatton and Junior Witter, two welterweights. They didn't fight. It didn't happen with Amir Khan um, and Kel Brook. They fought far too late. It's not happening again when it comes to Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. This fight needs to happen. The, the concerns that I've got is Fury is one of the best PR agencies around if you want to generate some publicity for whatever you're doing call Tyson Fury he um, he's very good at putting the other side on the back foot he's very good at saying it's their fault not my fault um, there is a degree of truth in that I think in this case um, is it just trying to keep a bit of face as if to again say I want the fight I'm the one trying to make the fight I, I don't know um one thing that does concern me or make me a bit nervous about the fight being made is the fact that Joshua is still represented by Eddie Hearn. Although Eddie has done fantastic things for British boxing, global boxing, in the last few years, and Matchroom have been at the forefront for a lot of good things, Eddie's a businessman. Eddie's got ego. Eddie's got his golden goose, which is Anthony Joshua. He's been reluctant to put Joshua in front of risky opponents in the past. The only fights that Eddie's been reluctant to make have been the two big threats. The first one being Deontay Wilder, where Wilder allegedly sent through proof that he had $50 million available for the fight. They didn't take it. And of course, Tyson Fury, who we know will take a fight like that. They're the two fights that Joshua needed to have for his legacy, and they're the two fights that didn't happen. Now, both promoters, whether it's Shelley Finkel, or whether it's Bob Arum and Frank Warren, put the blame fair and square on Eddie Hearn. And I think most boxing pundits, most experts, most commentators say that it was probably Matchroom's fault that this fight hasn't been made. And the fact that they're still there in the background <sighs> makes me think that this isn't going to happen. This is going to be one of those fights where they're going to be looking for a payday, or it's going to be happening far too late, or Joshua may lose again. And there'll be no appetite for the fight. We know that Fury needs to be Usyk. Fury needs to be Usyk to be undisputed, which has not happened in the four belt era. After that, that's where the opportunity to fight Joshua definitely is. You know, we could go on and on and on about the failed Joshua Fury fight. The December 3rd date where Joshua is fighting Derek Chisora, that is the fight where he and Joshua should have got it on. Joshua, who's lost three of his last fights, back-to-back -back defeats against Usyk, um, and and Fury was, was throwing him a bone. We, we know that. 
you know, Joshua shouldn't have been going straight back into a title fight, but he was given that opportunity. He should have been all over that title fight, but he wasn't. He he had too much of an ego, asked for too much money, wanted too big a split. Uh, and yeah, he turned it down. Or Eddie Hearn turned it down, didn't return the contract in time, whatever it was. <laughs> but it feels like this is the opportunity slipping away now. You know, we've got more pretenders to the throne coming up. We've got obviously Usyk and, and Fury who need to get it on. Uh, there's talk of a fourth fight with Wilder. Joe Joyce has earned his opportunity. Daniel Dubois is still there. Hergovic is still there. Ruiz, if he gets a couple of wins, is going to be back in the picture. There's a lot of opponents there. And Joshua's slipping down the tree. So I just hope this is not more hot air. But this fight needs to happen. They need to get together. They need to make this happen. They need to stop bullshitting the fans. They need to start taking the threat from the UFC seriously. Because if Conor McGregor is back, um, we know what's happening with Leon Edwards as well. After upsetting Usman, there's going to be a rematch there most likely. There's some fantastic matchups coming up in the UFC. And they are eating into what was boxing's monopoly on combat sports. And if boxing isn't careful, they're going to be the has-beens. Because too much politics, too much egos getting in the way of getting these fights made. And this is this is at risk of being another one. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully once December 3rd comes and goes and Fury beats Chisora, which is probably going to happen, we will hopefully get a clean road for Fury Usyk. And then the winner of that will then go and fight Anthony Joshua. So hopefully next year we'll have our undisputed fight and we might get our long-awaited fight between Joshua and and fury i just hope that this is just not more hot air being spouted just to keep us uh, on the edge of our seats hope i'm wrong let me know what you think catch you soon